This is a quick disclaimer before the reading. It's very important that I let you guys know this before we start pulling the messages. The karmic did some really heavy and dark things to get this person. The karmic was extremely desperate to have them, but was intimidated by you or possibly the thought of not winning this person over. At the time that the karmic got involved with this person, they were well aware that this person was either dealing with you or that this person was still in love with you. And you know what they say, desperate times call for desperate measures. The karmic took things to the extreme and it backfired. Now the karmic's karma is to now carry the same burdens that you were put through while you were dealing with this person. And furthermore, to be obsessively in love with someone who will never love them back in return. This reading was very deep and the karma of the karmic came out toward the end of the reading. Therefore, it's important for me to give you guys a quick heads up because with many of the things that are going to come out, some of you will confuse the karmic's energy with your own energy, okay? So it's so important for all of you to understand that the messages coming out in this reading are not in regards to your energy. You are being redeemed through your burdens with this person now becoming the karmic's burdens to carry. And it's mainly because the karmic didn't play fair. I just had to give you guys that quick disclaimer. Let's get into the reading. Hello, everyone. This is Mystic Goddess with your general reading. So today we're going to see what's going on currently between the person who is on your mind at the time that you watch this reading and the karmic that they've been dealing with. Monday's reading, we looked into the person's perspective. There was a lot of projecting going on and many of you mentioned in the comments that you would like to see the karmic's perspective. We're going to get the karmic's perspective today. All right. So let's go ahead and get into these messages. Give me messages, please, Holy Spirit, for everyone that watches this reading. When it comes to the person who is on my viewer's mind at the time that they watch this reading and the karmic that they've been dealing with, what is going on between that person and the karmic? From the karmic's perspective. What is going on currently between the person that is on my viewer's mind and the karmic that they've been dealing with? Give me the karmic's perspective, please, Holy Spirit. Two more shuffles. So let's see what comes out here. All right. So at the bottom of the deck, we have Gypsy. So the karmic is into some things. They're admitting that they try to find out things that this person could be hiding from them. With boundaries being at the bottom of the deck, the karmic is feeling used by this person. I do feel as though the karmic enabled this person, especially when the two of them initially got together. But as of now, the karmic is admitting that this person has taught them to learn to set boundaries. Wow. At the top of the deck, we have new cycle. This is all about a new beginning. So either the karmic is wanting a new beginning elsewhere or the karmic is hoping they can have a fresh new start with this person. Hmm. So, yeah, the karmic is saying that this person is always trying to get over on them. With the gypsy card being here, the karmic could possibly try to use their intuition in regards to what this person could be doing. But this is definitely giving me energy of the karmic knowing how to manipulate energy or, or they have a way of finding out things that this person doesn't want them to know. Now, the gypsy card is also about an unconventional lifestyle. So... The karmic feels as though this person is very unconventional. 
Give me more. The relationship could also be unconventional between the two of them. What is going on between this person and the karmic? Give me the karmic's perspective, please. What is the karmic's perspective in regards to what's going on between this person and the karmic? Thank you. We have old school. And that card wanted to come out crossing. So the karmic feels as though this person is very stubborn. They're also admitting that the relationship took off really fast between the two of them. For some of you, this person may not have been ready for a serious relationship with the karmic. And the karmic is admitting they kind of pressured this person and to the two of them being a little bit more serious. At the bottom of the deck, we have secrets. So again, the karmic is saying that this person keeps a lot of secrets from them. They've also caught this person up a couple of times. The karmic thinks that there's a lot more to be revealed. For some of you, the karmic also thinks that this person could be involved with someone else secretly. At the bottom of the deck, we have plastic. So the karmic feels as though this person is fake, but I also feel as though they fake when it comes to the connection. There's a fake image here and that came out in the last reading as well. Plastic along with beauty. So I feel like this is about them pretending as though they have a very beautiful connection, but in reality, it's all false. The karmic is also saying that they feel as though this person strung them along. Give me more. What is going on? Thank you. We have apology. And that card came out crossing. So the karmic feels as though this person doesn't like to admit when they're wrong. And there are times when they don't even apologize when they are wrong. The karmic has been working to mend the relationship between the two of them, but they feel as though this person is sabotaging things. With true love being at the bottom of the deck, the karmic feels as though this person is their true love. The karmic is saying that he or she has unconditional love for this person, but it may be a little bit unrequited. At the top of the deck, we have depression. My goodness. So the karmic is depressed. Feeling a little bit hopeless, mainly because this person is so pessimistic. The karmic also feels victimized by this person in some way. But I also feel like this person likes to play the victim. My goodness. So the karmic is saying that they've tried to rebuild the connection with this person, even though some of the things that this person has done to them should be unforgivable. Huh? But they're trying to stick things out with this person. Also, with the apology card coming out crossing, it also lets me know that this person holds on to their lies. So the karmic is saying that it's very hard to get this person to confess certain things, whether it's in regards to secrets or in regards to their feelings. The apology card is also about mending relationships. So with it coming out crossing, karmic feels as though this person acts like they don't care if the relationship works out or not. Give me more. What is going on between this person and the karmic? Give me the karmic's perspective, please, Holy Spirit. Thank you. We have secretly stalking. This card is about being curious. And if you notice here, it says not over you. So the karmic feels as though this person is not over you. If you have social media, the karmic has caught this person checking your social media or stalking your social media. So the karmic is curious about you as of now because they feel as though this person is not over you. The karmic could have caught this person looking at photos of you on their phone. It'll be different for all of you. But the karmic definitely caught this person entertaining you in some way. And it doesn't have to be directly. 
it's coming out like it was indirect so this has to do with them getting caught checking your social media getting caught reminiscing looking at photos looking at old text messages between the two of you and so because the karmic has caught this person up they feel like they're just being strong along they feel like this person has been giving them false hope and they also feel that they have selfish intentions so the karmic is aware that this person has been stringing them along hmm. I also feel like this person may have tried to make it seem as though they were over you. But the karma gets suspicious in regards to that. Give me more. What is going on between this person and the karmic? Give me the karmic's perspective, please. What is going on between this person and the karmic? Give me the karmic's perspective, please. Thank you. We have Thorny Rose. The Thorny Rose card is all about a painful love experience. So the relationship is definitely not lovey-dovey between the two of them. The karmic is admitting that this person has hurt them a lot, but they still try to fight for the relationship. The karmic feels as though the relationship would be worth the trouble, but as of now... There are many differences that are creating barriers in the connection. The karmic is also admitting that the two of them oppose each other. Huh. I heard love and war. So there are times when the two of them are at war with one another. They don't always get along. Huh. What's at the top? We have home. So the karmic feels as though the two of them belong together. This is also giving me energy of changes being made in the home. Now this could be in regards to the karmic or it could be in regards to this person. This card is also about a location change. So at some point, the karmic may want the two of them to move together, but if they're already living with one another the karmic may be thinking about moving huh give me more what is going on between this person and the karmic give me the karmic's perspective please holy spirit thank you all right so we have habitual liar and that card came out in reverse so the karmic is saying that this person constantly accuses him or her of lying. They also view this person as a habitual liar, but like I said before, this person has a tendency to hold on to their lies. Even when they're caught, they stand on their lie. So the karmic has exposed a few things that this person has lied about, but they feel as though there are other lies that are yet to be exposed. At the bottom of the deck, we have single. So for some of you, the karmic is saying that this person said that they were single when the two of them initially started dealing with one another, but they may have found out later that this person was already involved. Now for others of you, I feel like this person made the karmic think that they were open to dating when in reality, they were not emotionally available. Hmm. Right beside that, we have Spotlight. This is all about being a power couple, a high-profile relationship. So like I was telling you guys before, in Monday's reading, they have an image that they're trying to uphold. Look, children is right beside that. Remember what I was telling you guys in Monday's reading that if they have children together, the karmic may be trying to hold the children over this person's head or the karmic may have introduced this person to their children and they use the children as a way to keep this person around or to keep them there. This card literally says using child as a pawn, saying for the kids. Now, if there are no children involved, I just feel like the karmic could be trying to hide certain aspects of the relationship from the public. They know that this person is very childish. 
So their relationship is nothing to envy, but the karmic wants them to be the envy of other people. So it's giving energy of the karmic wanting people to look at their relationship as couple goals or relationship goals. My goodness. Give me more. What is going on between this person and the karmic? Give me the karmic's perspective, please. Thank you. We have fights. This is all about arguments, drama, tension. So the two of them argue a lot. For a few of you, there may have even been a physical fight or a physical altercation. The karmic is admitting that the connection is very tense between the two of them. They also feel as though this person creates drama at times, okay? At the top of the deck, we have options. So the karmic feels as though this person still has other options when it comes to love. The karmic is also fearful that they made the wrong choice by choosing this person because I feel as though the karmic may have had options as well. For some of you, the karmic is exploring other possibilities elsewhere. So the karmic could be secretly entertaining other options. Wow. I feel like this person is putting the karmic through some of the same things they put you through. So like I was telling you guys before, it's not a lovey-dovey relationship between the two of them. There could even be some of you who are thinking, dang, am I the karmic? <laughs> but no, you are not the karmic, okay? I made sure that I meditated over that before I even started the reading. But the relationship is very difficult between the two of them. And it's amazing that the gypsy card came out first because I was seeing in multiple readings that the karmic may be into manipulating energy in some way. So having Gypsy to come out as the first card in the reading, it speaks volumes. So any of you who think that the karmic may have worked some type of spell work on this person, this right here is your confirmation. Mm. Give me another card. What is going on currently between this person and the karmic? Give me the karmic's perspective, please, Holy Spirit. Thank you. We have unlocking. So the karmic is admitting that this person has a tendency to lock them out. They try their best to work through removing any blockages in the connection. They're also hoping that this person will truly and genuinely love them one day. With wish come true being at the bottom of the deck, the karmic is viewing this person as a wish come true. But deep down, they know that this person doesn't feel the same way about them. With cut through being right beside that, the karmic is hoping that this person will have some type of breakthrough, whether it's mentally or emotionally. With karmic connection being here, as of now, the relationship is full of turbulence. The karmic is admitting that if the relationship were to keep going the way that it's going, the relationship would not be sustainable. Hmm. With jealousy being right beside that, for some of you, the karmic feels like this person has used them to try and make you jealous. But the karmic also has a very unhealthy attachment to this person. They want this person all to themselves. But the karmic feels as though they've made a lot of sacrifices for this person. And this person has sacrificed very little. Hmm. So as of now, the karmic is working overtime to give their relationship a clean image. My goodness. So there's a lot going on between the two of them. 
Give me another card. What is going on currently between this person and the karmic? Thank you. We have regret. Ooh. So the karmic feels as though this person guilt trips them, but the karmic is also guilty to an extent as well. Look at this. Spell work is at the bottom of the deck. So the karmic is guilty of doing spell work on this person. The spell work card is about manipulating an outcome, attracting a love interest, or casting love spells. So the karmic regrets casting a love spell on this person because it may have backfired. Now they wish they would have never done it. Huh. Whatever spell was done, it was a really heavy spell because the karmic feels as though they can't undo it. Even though it's causing damage in the connection, even though it's backfired, the karmic feels as though what's done is done. They can't undo the damage even though they're wanting to. So the karmic may have done some spell work to try and attract this person to them or to manipulate the outcome between the two of them or the two of you. So it's giving energy of the karmic doing spell work to try and make this person choose to be with them. But see, it's unrequited. It's a one-sided connection between the two of them. This card says one-sided love. So the karmic loves this person more than this person loves them. Wow. And see, it's also backfiring because there was not enough attraction on this person's part. So whoever the person is that you're thinking about during this reading, they were not really attracted to the karmic. Their feelings for each other were not mutual. The karmic wanted this person, but this person didn't really want the karmic like that, especially when it comes to being in a monogamous, long-term committed relationship with the karmic. Hmm. So this is giving a little bit of black magic type of energy. The karmic trying to control this person's free will. And that may be another reason why it backfired. It's because this person didn't love the karmic. They were not attracted to the karmic. There wasn't enough attraction or mutual feelings for the karmic to get the outcome that they were wanting or the outcome that they were looking for. Separation is right beside that. So whatever spell the karmic worked on this person actually made this person more withdrawn. It caused a breakdown in the relationship. For some of you, the karmic is saying that there are times when this person acts as though they don't even want to talk to them. I do also feel like this person has ghosted the karmic a couple of times, but the karmic is saying that they always end up reconnecting with one another or they always end up reconciling. Wow. So yeah, the karmic did some spell work that they're now regretting. And the spell work had to have been in regards to passion, but I feel like it was a more forceful type of spell. So this wasn't done out of purity at all. I also feel like the karmic may have worked some type of spell to try and control this person in some way or to try and restrict them. Give me another card. What is going on between this person and the karmic? Give me the karmic's perspective, please, Holy Spirit. What is going on? Thank you. We have lessons. So the karmic is saying that they've learned a few lessons with heartbreak being at the bottom of the deck. I do feel like there are times when the karmic feels as though they're suffering. The karmic also feels as though it's hard for them to move on from this person, even though they're toxic. 
the relationship is very lower vibrational between the two of them. And see, trapped is right beside that. So I feel like the karmic tried to trap this person in some way. They tried to make it where this person wouldn't walk away from them, even though the relationship is unpleasant for this person. Mm. And see, because the spell work, the karmic is working, goes against this person's free will, it's causing this person to lose it on an emotional and on a mental level. I feel like there are times that this person has exploded on the karmic. Mm. The karmic is also saying that they're meant to be a lesson for this person. And on a spiritual level, I feel like the karmic is doing their job. But see, if you notice, there's a lot of projecting in this reading as well. And Monday's reading, this person was pointing the finger at the karmic and making it seem as though the karmic is the problem. And this reading, the karmic is pointing the finger at this person, but the karmic has admitted to messing up when it comes to spell work. The karmic is also admitting that he or she is entertaining other options. Give me more. What is going on between this person and the karmic? Thank you. We have out in the cold. So the karmic feels left out in the cold by this person. They feel lonely. They feel like this person also likes to spend a lot of time alone. For some of you, they feel rejected by this person. At the bottom of the deck, we have not budging. So again, the karmic feels as though this person is very stubborn and flexible. But the karmic is also admitting that they're both stubborn. They both have a tendency to stand their ground. The karmic also views this person as someone who refuses to change. But as of now, they're trying to make the best out of a bad situation. On the no budging card, see how they're looking in different directions? They don't see eye to eye. So it's really hard for the two of them to get on the same page. The karmic also feels like this person has a cold heart or they are cold hearted. Give me more. What is going on currently between this person and the karmic? Give me the karmic's perspective, please. Thank you. We have engagement. So the karmic is hoping that the two of them will end up getting married in the future. For a few of you, they could be married or engaged to the karmic. But for others of you, I just feel like the karmic put pressure on this person to make things official between the two of them. With Love Bomber being at the bottom of the deck, the karmic is admitting that they did manipulate this person on an emotional level. They also feel as though this person could be like a playboy or a playgirl. I also feel as though they love bomb each other. Hmm. At the top of the deck, we have freedom. So the karmic feels as though this person wants to be free from the connection. To an extent, the karmic wants to be free from this person as well. But they're still trying to stick things out with this person. I feel like the karmic doesn't want to see this person reconnecting with you. The karmic feels like they're stuck on the past. So at the time that the two of them got together, the karmic was aware that this person was not ready for a commitment. They're saying that they like their freedom. Mm. With finality here, I do feel like there's going to be an ending between the two of them. But as of now, the karmic is doing everything that he or she can to hold on to this connection. Mm. 
do me another card what is going on between this person and the karmic give me the karmic's perspective please holy spirit thank you we have jealousy so the karmic is admitting that he or she does things to try and make this person jealous but I also feel like the karmic is a jealous person as well. The karmic fears losing this person. With dry spell being at the bottom of the deck, this card is about sexual abstinence. So there are times when the two of them are not even intimate. And it makes the karmic jealous because the karmic feels as though this person is possibly dealing with someone else sexually. Especially because there's no action between the two of them when it comes to intimacy. Or there's very little action between the two of them. My goodness. At the top of the deck, we have foolish. So the karmic feels as though this person is very careless. They feel like this person doesn't take them seriously. They also feel as though this person plays a lot of games with them. The karmic also kind of feels like a fool for holding on to this person. But the attachment is so strong. They don't want to let this person go. So they rather look like a fool than to let this person get away. My goodness. Give me another card. What is going on between this person and the karmic? Give me the karmic's perspective, please, Holy Spirit. What's going on between this person and the karmic? Thank you. We have mirroring. So they're both foolish or they both look like fools. It's giving energy of them being clowns in their own personal circus. They mirror each other. Both of them need healing. So I feel like the karmic has abandonment issues. The karmic also does things intentionally to try and get this person to chase them. They do childish things to get this person to chase them or to get their attention. The karmic looks for this person to validate their self-worth all because they have low self-esteem. This is going to be very specific. Please don't force it to fit. But if the two of them do have children together, the karmic may have intentionally had a child with this person all to have an excuse to chase up behind them. But that is very specific. So please don't force it to fit. At the top of the deck, we have risk. So as of now, the karmic doesn't really know how things are going to turn out between the two of them. They feel as though they've laid all of their cards out on the table. They're willing to continue taking a risk with this person, but they also feel as though be being in a relationship with them is a gamble. This person is very unpredictable. Give me one more card. What is going on between this person and the karmic? Thank you. We have paralyzed. So the karmic feels as though this person has a tendency to hold back from them. But see, the karmic came up with some type of strategy in order to win this person over. Something really clever. They didn't want to leave anything up to chance. And so I feel like that's where the spell work came in at. But little did the karmic know the spell work would end up backfiring. And it would make the relationship stuck and one-sided. For some of you, the karmic may have tried to use their physical attraction to draw this person in. If it's not that, they just use something that was surface level. So it could be something materialistic, something really surface level. The karmic is also admitting that they faked it as well because I feel like the karmic exaggerated their feelings for this person or they would tell them things that they felt this person wanted to hear. See, the relationship between the two of them is not a real love connection. It's a surface level relationship. 
for some of you, the karmic is also admitting that he or she is intimidated by your beauty or they're intimidated by you because of the way that you stand out. They feel as though this person is still attracted to you. So they do whatever they can to paint you in a negative light. Hmm. My goodness. Look at this. Right beside plastic is happiness. I'm telling you, the happiness is fake. It's all fake. So yeah, the karmic is intimidated by you. And they actually kind of feel like they have to compete with you. Even though a lot of you are not even competing, you may not have even known you were in a competition, but the karmic is competing with you. Oh my gosh, this is crazy. So the karmic wants this person to be paralyzed by their love. They want to make sure that this person doesn't go anywhere. Like I said before, I feel like that's where the spell work came in at, but it ended up backfiring. Therefore, it exaggerated the negative energy that this person has toward the karmic. So therefore, this person is pessimistic toward the karmic. I really feel like this person doesn't give the karmic much hope unless they're trying to get something out of the karmic. Yeah, the karmic feels rejected. They feel... Like this person wants to be left alone. And remember what we saw in Monday's reading, this person admitted that, that there are times when they do whatever they can to be by themselves, whether it's spending time alone in another room or being outside, trying to keep themselves busy. They do whatever they can to isolate themselves from the karmic. And the karmic is admitting that. They're saying that this person leaves them out in the cold all of the time. Hmm. So there's a lot going on here between the karmic and this person. I do feel like the karmic is aware that this person may have used them to try and make you jealous. Or there are things that the karmic does to try and make you jealous. The karmic wants to make sure that the two of you have no action or take any action toward each other when it comes to love. Hmm. I'm going to clarify a few of these cards and then I'm going to end the reading. This was very interesting. It's making me wonder if I need to do a third part of this reading to get the truth. Because we saw the person side on Monday. And I'll put a link in the comment section to that reading if any of you are interested in looking at it. We're getting the karmic's perspective today. Both of them seem to point the finger at each other. There's been a lot of projection in both readings. I will say that the karmic is admitting a little bit more in regards to their wrongdoing than this person. This person put everything off on the karmic. Let's see. The karmic is also admitting that they've created drama. So I feel like there are times when this person starts fights in order to have an excuse to get away from the karmic or to isolate themselves from the karmic. But I also feel as though there are times when the karmic creates drama or moments of tension between the two of them just to try and see if this person cares or to get a response out of this person. It's coming out like the karmic is desperate for any type of reaction, even if it's negative. In the karmic's eyes, even a negative reaction is better than nothing. So the karmic is depressed. Let's see what else comes out. Give me more messages, please, Holy Spirit. In regards to this person and the karmic that they've been dealing with. What is going on between this person and the karmic that they've been dealing with when it comes to love? Give me the karmic's perspective, please, Holy Spirit. What is going on currently between the person that is on my viewer's mind during this reading and the karmic 
that they've been dealing with. Give me the karmic's perspective only, please, Holy Spirit. Two more shuffles. Yeah, with the habitual liar card being in reverse, the karmic is saying that they've been pretty truthful with this person, but that this person constantly lies. Hmm. So let's see what else comes out here. All right. So at the bottom of the deck, we have the four of swords. So the karmic is trying their best to recover the connection the two of them may not be talking a lot right now, or they may be taking a break from one another. If they're not doing it as of now, they may do it in the near future. The karmic is also admitting that this person contains themselves a lot. So I feel like this person spends a lot of time alone. That's coming out again. With the queen of wands being here, right next to the four of swords, the karmic feels as though this person isn't even attracted to them anymore. They feel like this person is not enthusiastic about them nor the relationship. The karmic wants this person to be extroverted and to express themselves, but it's very rare that this person is expressive with the karmic. The karmic feels as though this person doesn't even care about them. Hmm. I feel like there was something physical that kept this person's attention at first, something physical about the karmic, but it's not really working anymore. So the karmic could have been using sex, they could have been using their looks, whatever they were using to capture or to keep this person's attention is not really working anymore. I also do feel as though the karmic has prayed over this connection my goodness give me more why is secrets here for what's going on between this person and the karmic that they've been dealing with give me the karmic's perspective please holy spirit thank you we have the knight of pentacles so the karmic feels as though this person has a hard time just being straightforward they also feel as though this person isn't putting much work into the connection the karmic is trying their best to stick to the plan, even though secrets have been revealed in regards to a betrayal. Huh. So there's been some type of bad news. But the karmic is trying to work through it. The karmic may have found out that this person was sneaking around, possibly cheating, is giving third party type of energy. The karmic is admitting that he or she was devastated. They've taken just about all that they can take, but they still go above and beyond to try and make things work with this person. But I also feel like a part of it has to do with the karmic doing their own dirt as well. So the karmic isn't innocent here. Neither of them are. The karmic is also worried about someone stealing this person away from them. They feel like this person is always doing things behind their back. They're admitting that this person tells them a lot of half-truths. Wow. So, yo. Also, whenever the karmic calls this person out on their crap, or whenever the karmic accuses this person of being sneaky, cheating, or betraying them, they feel as though this person attacks them verbally. They're actually saying this person has said some things to them that was pretty horrible. Hmm. This is crazy. Give me more. Why is dry spell here? So the karmic is trying to make progress in the connection, but they feel as though progress is very slow or pretty much at a standstill between the two of them. But the karmic is trying their best to just stick things out. 
regardless of how hard it is, they just stick to the plan. Why is dry spell here? Thank you. We have the King of Swords. So, the karmic is trying their best to think in a rational manner. Like I was telling you guys before, when the two of them don't have sex with one another, it really bothers the karmic. But they try their best not to get in their feelings about it. They have been seeking the truth in regards to why this person is being so dry with them when it comes to sex. Like I said before, the karmic feels as though this person may have another lover or they could be attracted to someone else. Yeah, for some of you, the karmic has found text messages in this person's phone. Or there's something that this person has said to them that's making them think that they're involved with someone else or at least attracted to another person. The karmic is also admitting that when the two of them were in the talking stages or in the initial stages of the relationship, this person was very exciting to be around. The karmic fell in love with this person, but as the relationship progressed, this person became cold toward them. And see, with King of Swords energy, that's not lovey-dovey energy in a relationship. The karmic is admitting that it comes off more like a partnership than a relationship. Possibly even a friendship than a relationship. <sighs> Give me more. Why is thorny rose here for what's going on between this person and the karmic thank you we have the ten of wands it wanted to come out crossing so the karmic is admitting that it's very hard to try and make things work with this person they're under a lot of burdens right now they're worried that the relationship has almost run its course they feel like they put more effort into this relationship than this person See, the karmic is trying their best to stick things out with this person, but it's very challenging, especially because the karmic feels as though they're the only one fighting for this. <sighs> Give me another card. Why is secretly stalking here for what's going on between this person and the karmic? Why is secretly stalking here? Thank you. We have the high priestess. I'm telling you guys, the karmic has some type of spiritual abilities. Yeah. The karmic feels as though they have spiritual gifts. But with the devil card being at the bottom of the deck, the karmic uses their spiritual gifts in the wrong way. They actually use them in a very dark way. For some of you, the karmic may be stalking you or watching you closely. It's either that or they've done their research to find out information about you. And see, the karmic uses their spiritual abilities in the wrong way because they do things that are immoral or unethical. This is going to be very specific. Please don't force it to fit. But for some of you, I do feel like the karmic secretly spies on this person as well. But the karmic has also found this person looking at certain things that they shouldn't be looking at certain things that people would view as taboo or immoral huh yeah the karmic could have found something on this person's phone or walked in on them at a time when they were entertaining something that they shouldn't have been ooh 
also the six of cups is right beside that so i do feel as though the karmic is intimidated and jealous of you because the karmic feels as though this person wants to reconcile the karmic is a little bit all over the place but they feel as though you're everything that they're not the karmic feels as though this person is obsessed with someone from their past which is you So they're intimidated and jealous. And for some of you, they actually obsessively spy on you. Or the karmic thinks that this person is obsessed with you. It causes a lot of mental conflict for the karmic. But it's coming out like they consult with a high priestess. Or the karmic is a high priestess, a dark high priestess. But whatever the karmic is doing, they do it in silence or there's not many people who know that they could be a witch. My goodness. Give me more. Why is regret here along with spell work? Why is regret here along with spell work for what's going on between this person and the karmic? We have the full card. So I feel like whatever the karmic did in regards to spell work, it was something that they were inexperienced at or they did it in a careless manner. Mm. With judgment being at the bottom of the deck, oof, there were consequences in regards to the spell work. I feel like the karmic's hope was to get them to be able to ascend to the next level with one another. To make this person view them in a certain way. But see, it didn't happen the way that they thought it would. It was actually reckless. Because look, the, the person on the fool card is about to walk off of a cliff. They're unaware of the danger that's right in front of them because they're not paying attention. So there's something that the karmic did that was a little bit reckless or... They may have been a beginner or in the beginning stages of doing this type of spell work. They may have been inexperienced at it. It's either that or they did it in a careless way. They were hoping that it would give the two of them a fresh new start. But it actually sealed the fate of the relationship. At the top of the deck, we have the moon card. So they were trying to control this person's feelings to get them to be more honest with them, to create some type of illusion around the relationship. For some of you, it could have even backfired because for one, whatever the karmic did was wrong. And for two, they may have done it at a time when they were a little bit anxious or fearful anxious or fearful in regards to losing this person mm. so there's a lot of things that the karmic is keeping hidden but it definitely backfired it backfired horribly they wish that they could start over If they could start over, they may not have done the spell work. But as of now, they sealed their fate. There's two major arcanas clarifying regret and spell work. So whatever the karmic did was foolish. It was foolish, but I also feel like it was done out of desperation. For a few of you, the karmic... And I know this is going to sound crazy. They may not have even done it with dark intention behind it. But little did they know because they were trying to control this person's free will. The energy was dark. I just feel like the karmic didn't know what they were doing. Oh my goodness. All right. Why is fights here? For what's going on between this person and the karmic. 
why is fights here between look at this the five of wands came out clarifying fights so they clash a lot for some of you they argue about money or some type of asset they have a hard time agreeing with one another the karmic also feels like the two of them have very little in common for some of you the karmic is saying that they argue or they fight over the competition or people that the karmic may view as rivals the karmic is also very insecure hmm. for some of you i do feel like the karmic may use money or something materialistic to try and win arguments with this person or to try and win this person over after arguments. The karmic is also saying that this person has said some messed up things to them. But the two of them argue a lot. They argue a lot. For some of you, the karmic feels as though this person may want to be single. For others of you, the karmic feels as though this person may have offered to them or accepted an offer from them because of the life they saw the karmic was living. So for some of you, the karmic feels as though this person got involved with them because they saw them living a life of comfort or they saw that they were self-sufficient they saw that they were successful in some way or had really nice things. So they feel like that may be the only reason why this person truly offered to them. It had to do with something materialistic, some type of possession that the karmic owns or something that they feel the karmic is able to provide to them. The karmic is also saying that they've fallen into a rut dealing with this person. And they also feel as though this person is only happy whenever the karmic is doing things for them or giving to them in some way. Mm. So, yeah, the karmic feels like this person just saw their lifestyle and wanted a piece of it. Give me more. Why is depression here for what's going on between this person and the karmic? Give me the karmic's perspective only, please, Holy Spirit. Thank you. We have the Nine of Swords. Clarifying depression. So the karmic feels as though this person is really stressful to deal with. The karmic is also saying that there are times or there have been times when they've slept alone. The karmic feels like this person is always talking about their problems or they're always blaming the karmic for their problems. This is giving energy of the karmic crying at night. But see, deep down, the karmic knows that they only have themselves to blame because a lot of this is karma. And I really feel like with the justice card being at the bottom of the deck, the karmic knows that whatever they're going through with this person is their karma. Hmm. The karmic has a hard time sleeping at night at times. They feel emotionally drained. So the karmic feels like this person always blames them for everything. But the karmic feels as though they're actually the victim. <laughs> this is crazy. So it's karma. It's karma, especially because of the spell work. This karmic did to try and pull this person away from you or to make it so this person would only have eyes for them to try and manipulate the outcome is karma. And also because for some of you, the karmic may have gotten involved with this person when they were already in a relationship. 
So the audacity is the karmic trying to steal this person away from someone else, not knowing what the other person was going through with this person. Now they're going through it with this person. Little did the karmic know they were actually taking a lot of burdens off of your back when they got involved with this person. There may have been times when you were stressed out, when you felt like you were carrying the relationship. Now the karmic is having to deal with that. But see, it's the consequence. It's the consequence of the karmic's decisions. Hmm. For a few of you, the justice system may get involved in some way. It could be the karmic calling the police on this person. Or this person calling the police on the karmic. And that's very specific. So please don't force it to fit. If the karmic ever had this person locked up or called the law on this person, they did it and then they cried about it or they were stressed out over it. Give me another card. Why is Gypsy here for what's going on between this person and the karmic? Thank you. See the Knight of Cups to make this person fall in love with them. That's what the spell work was about. I also feel like the karmic may try to tap into this person's energy to try and see if they have romantic feelings for anyone else to see if they have other lovers. But there was spell work done to try and get this person to be more romantic toward them or to embrace them on an emotional level. To try and force this person to have feelings for them. To try and force this person to fall in love with them. Oh my goodness. So the karmic either paid for some type of spell work, some type of love spell, or the karmic could have cast it themselves, but there's something that they had to buy in order to do it. For some of you, the karmic did it in the home. They did it in their own home. Oh my goodness. But see, whatever the karmic did, it turned this person away from them. It actually makes them interested in other people. So the karmic spell work backfired horribly. I do apologize, guys. My camera ran hot, but... As I was about to say, I really feel like this karmic found out that this person was still attracted to someone else or they may have found out that this person was talking to someone else. The karmic felt as though whatever they were giving this person was not enough. Most of what they were giving this person was materialistic, okay? The karmic wanted this person to only have eyes for them. Therefore, the karmic may have done some type of spell work here with the moon card and the magician. They may have done spell work under a full moon or they may have been using moon cycles in order to do the spell work. The karmic's intention may have been for this person to break the heart of whoever else they were involved with. Could have been you, could have been someone else. But see, it backfired and, and it caused distress in the relationship. Huh. For some of you, the karmic may have worked some type of spell work because of something this person said to them after an argument. I also feel like there was a time when this person tried to leave the karmic after an argument. But see, the karmic started strategizing because they felt as though this person was about to leave. Therefore, they tried to do something to strengthen this person's feelings for them or to try and strengthen the connection but whatever they did whatever spell work they did it is giving energy of the karmic kind of trying to have the upper hand over this person in some way but see now they're paranoid because they feel like it backfired and it didn't really get them anywhere 
they feel like it caused the relationship to be at a stalemate and it caused this person to not have feelings for them. I feel like this person doesn't even express much emotion toward the kar karmic. They feel as though ever since they've been doing the spell work, it's been predicament after predicament after predicament. Yo, they were trying to get this person to hold off on ending things with them or try to hold them back from betraying them. Oof. So whatever the karmic worked, it was dark. And I feel like they did it at night. They did it at night. Ooh, my goodness. So the karmic either found out this person was attracted to someone else, found out that they were talking to someone else, wanting to be with another person, or there's something that this person said that made the karmic feel as though they were still attracted to someone else. I'm going to get one more card and then I'm going to end the reading. Why is foolish here for what's going on between this person and the karmic? Why is foolish here for what's going on between this person and the karmic? Give me the karmic's perspective, please. Thank you. We have the queen of swords. So the karmic feels foolish because they feel as though they knew better. They also feel like a fool for trying to hold on to this person. I also feel like there's a lot of things that the karmic is holding back when it comes to exposing this person because they're trying to protect the image of the relationship, but also trying to protect this person to an extent. <sighs> yeah, see, trying to protect this person's image. They don't want the people around them or the public to know what the two of them are really going through. We have the King of Swords here along with the Queen of Swords. This is not a lovey-dovey relationship. It's more like a partnership or more like they're just roommates if the two of them live together. Mm. At the top of the deck, we have the Empress card. Well, look at you. We also have the Seven of Cups. So... There are times when the karmic thinks that this person is still into you, that you're still an option, that this person still wants you. But see, for some of you, the karmic is under an illusion because a lot of you don't even want this person. Yo, the karmic is kind of delusional when it comes to you. See, you're an empress or an emperor, but I feel like the karmic gave the illusion of being an emperor or an empress. Because of the characteristics the karmic possesses, being an empress or an emperor right now would be unfeasible for the karmic. Mm. So I feel like the karmic tried to sell themselves to be better than who or what they really are they sold this person a dream and now they feel like a fool mm -mm -mm -mm. the karmic also feels as though you could have this person back if you wanted to so this is a hot mess the karmic feels as though they're suffering suffering dealing with this person the relationship is a very painful experience but the karmic feels as though it would be worth the trouble the karmic is also admitting that they stalk you but they also have caught this person looking you up or looking at something that pertains to you whether it's pictures photos or whatever the karmic feels as though this person is up to something because they caught them up. The karmic is also depressed right now. They're really stressed out, not sleeping well. They're also admitting that there are times when they spend their nights alone. The karmic is also admitting that they fight a lot. There are times when this person starts arguments, but the karmic is admitting that they've started drama between the two of them as well. The karmic feels as though this person is hiding secrets from them. And they also feel as though this person is sneaky and they move in silence a lot. 
there is some type of spell work that the karma has done but regardless the outcome of the spell work did not happen the way they wanted it to happen also really quickly before i get too far ahead of myself whoever the karmic is getting readings from or however they're getting these intuitive messages that they're getting i feel like if they're going to a psychic that psychic is telling them that the two of them are going to have a beautiful ending with one another that everything is going to work out that this person is going to be there happily ever after but see it's not true so yeah there's a lot of jealousy here the two of them are not having a lot of sex there's not much action in the relationship it's more like a partnership or possibly even a roommate relationship dynamic the karmic feels like a fool because they feel as though they know better but i feel like the two of them mirror each other to an extent so they're both toxic they are both toxic toward one another. My goodness. So there's going to be a lot of lessons learned here. I do feel like at some point this person's going to have a shift in perspective. But as of now, the two of them are going through it with one another. This is a mess. It's a hot mess. This is like a match made in hell. Whew. all right so that is the reading everyone if you guys resonated with this or if you liked this reading make sure that you give this video a thumbs up also don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already i would love to have you as a part of the mystic family i love each and every one of you guys so so much you take care be safe until next time bye